Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about editing. Uh, now that's quite a broad term, it's a bit of an umbrella term for lots of different things that will happen on your project, but really you can think about it as all the ways in which you make your book work as a cohesive text at all levels, right from the top level setting out the project scoping and things like that through to fixing typos. It also means uh, having lots of eyes on the project throughout the process. And all of the different kinds of editing and editors that you might have are all invested in making the book incrementally better, to make sure that it's the strongest it can be when it goes out into the world. So there are lots of different kinds of editing that you're likely to carry out over the course of your project. And what's important to remember is that these aren't, won't all necessarily be done by different people. There's a lot of overlap between them and you may just not have many hands on deck so you need to be sharing the responsibilities uh, for these things, but it's important to think about the kind of editing, its purpose and then what it's going to bring to your project. So to start, uh, we consider project management as part of the editing process and that can often mean that you have a lead editor in that role who's running the project or an editorial board and that's that work that goes in up front to set the framework for the project. Then you'll also want to be having content editing happening and this is subject matter expertise, making sure that the content is accurate, that it's saying what it needs to say to suit the purposes of the, the students who will be using it uh, and that really does require knowledge of the subject to make sure that it's accurate, that it's covering the right things before moving on to something like a developmental or a structural edit. And you can think of those two as complementing each other in that the content editing is about what you're saying and then the developmental editing is about how you're saying it. So it's much more about the structure of the content. You may then also want to look at substantive editing, which can be moving pieces around to make sure that they're all flowing together nicely. Then look at something like copy editing, which is about the mechanics of the sentences and the structure of, of the wording that you're using. And then finally, proofreading, and again, this is often put together with copy editing, making sure that all those little errors are caught along the way as well, which are all important in making sure that your text is the best it can be. When it comes to deciding what editing is important for your project and how you go about it, it's likely to come down to two things, time and resources. It will depend how much time you have available and the timing of when you want certain phases to happen. And then as well, it's a question of resources, the people you have available and possibly if you have budget available to bring in a professional. In terms of timing, one of the key decisions to make is how something like copy editing will work in with peer review. You want to be delivering content that is as far along in the editing process as possible to your reviewers so that they can be focused on the things you need them to give feedback on. However, Doing editing before peer review, then having changes from peer review, may necessitate more copy editing later. So depending on how you set your review up, you may be able to set expectations that reviewers aren't seeing copy edited content and that's coming later. It can get a little complicated in, in terms of the timing of this, but you'll just need to think about what works for you, what you can do, and what works for your project. And you may also want to consider, if you have a budget, spending some of it on editing. This is not the only way to go about doing this, but we have found on projects in the past that something like a developmental edit or a copy edit can benefit from somebody who has professional experience. But again, it's about what's right for your project and what's going to get you where you need to be. Overall, just remember that editing is all about how your text works as a whole and how you're saying what you want to say. You've spent so much time creating this content and investing your time and expertise in it that you want to also take the time to edit it so that it communicates what you want it to and serves the needs of your students as best you possibly can.